Hello, you are watching the Gripe TV. I am your host, JP Forte. Today I'm giving the world's most horrible people title to Ted Nugent. Now there are many different reasons why Ted Nugent deserves the title as one of the world's most horrible people. One of them is because of the fact that he gets off on torturing and killing animals and he loves to flaunt it in the face of the world. I mean, he's just a total, complete sicko when it comes to that. I mean, he's a total sadist. And another reason why he deserves the title as one of the world's most horrible people is because he is also a hypocrite and a coward. You know, Ted Nugent loves to talk about how he's such a great patriotic American, and he loves to talk about how he supports the troops in the military and how he supports them going off and fighting in wars and stuff. But yet, he's such a coward, he wouldn't even go and fight for this country himself. That's right. During the Vietnam War, in order to get out of having to go and fight, what did Ted Nugent do? He pissed and shit himself to get a Section 8. Then, another reason why he deserves the title as one of the world's most horrible people is, you know, there are pretty much stories about how he is also a chomo. You know, I heard a story about the fact that he adopted a teenage girl just for sex. You know, how people even look at this guy and, and like him, it's totally beyond my comprehension. And then another reason why Ted Nugent deserves the title as one of the world's most horrible people is because he is a flat-out complete racist. He also advocates for people to behave violently. Now, recently, Ted Nugent was canceled from doing a performance at a Native American-owned casino. Now, Ted Nugent has made a lot of inflammatory and racist remarks in the past has made a lot of violent comments in the past and because of these reasons the Native Americans decided that they didn't want him to perform at their casino. Ted Nugent's response to that well he basically said that Native Americans are dirty vermin and that they don't deserve to exist, basically, is what he, he said in reaction to that. And that's pretty sick. You know, when one looks back at the history of this country, one of the darkest, most horrible things that happened in this country is what was done to Native Americans. Native Americans were victims of ethnic, basically ethnic genocide, and then on top of that, the survivors, after having all their land taken away from them, were forced to live on reservations. And even with the government saying, oh, well, this, this land that we set aside for you, oh, we won't touch it. Well, they ended up breaking many promises and many treaties over that, too. When it comes to racial oppression in the history of the United States, Native Americans had it worse than anyone. They suffered more than any other ethnic group of people in this country. And you'd think that in the year 2014, people would basically come to know and understand that and they would 
show these people a little bit of respect. But here we are in the year 2014 and we still have idiots like Ted Nugent running around making statements like that. You know something, Ted Nugent? The only person out of this whole thing that is filthy, disgusting vermin that has no business existing is you. So I tell you something, Ted Nugent. Why don't you do us all a favor and take one of your guns that you love so much, stick the barrel of it up your ass, and pull the trigger. Just please do that and do the rest of us and the whole world a favor and just do that to yourself. And just get the hell off of this planet. And that's 